canine gang. Fuck you, reptilian gang. I know who you true leader is. The Zuck. Zuck. Today we're talking about a subgroup of people on Twitter who won't, who want to fully become animals by wearing way too expensive suits and, you know, fucking animals. Hmm. Well, you might see the first problem here. Three thousand dollars for a fucking suit. Holy shit. That's a lot of money for some fucking Halloween costume. What? You telling me they wear this on the regular? Even during summer? What the fuck? They must smell worse than a locker room. And I mean, if somebody really wants to become an animal, then he must give me permission to actually hunt them. Come on, this is just pure logic. The second and obvious thing is, uh, the problem that they want to fuck animals. Hmm, yes, you heard me right. People on Twitter grouping up to talk about their weird fetishes. Oh yes, the stable of Twitter. They have, they have fresh pears, maps, and some foreign animals. Very expensive. Very illegal. You like some wine? Now, obviously, I'm not saying the furry thing is the bad part. Well, I mean, it is, but that's what I'm, you know, criticizing about. The fact that, similar in my video where I talk about pedophiles finding new terms and names for them to sound better, the same thing is happening again, but with the set group of people that believe in bestiality, and they're changing it to suvile, which... Which, wow, zoo files? Come on, bestiality. I think bestiality sounds a bit better than zoo files. Zoo files just kind of sound like discount pedophiles, but you know, with a twist. The twist being, they fuck animals. I mean, what, did they go into the boardroom and say, mm, yes, let's try to make bestiality sound better. Mm, think of a name. Pedophiles sound good. Mm, yes, zoo files. Perfect. I have big brainus. Now, nobody would suspect we fuck animals. They'll just think we fuck young animals cuz that's that's basically what zoo files sound like it sounds like you're fucking underage animals which come on you gonna fuck a dog what the fuck is wrong with you ew i mean i swear to god these people must have extra chromosomes or something like the fuck did somebody get this retarded now i will admit twitter has been finally cracking down on this kind of stuff with getting rid of the tumblr refugees off of twitter cuz they brought a lot of child porn of them so good job twitter but I'm still going to consider you as a cancerous, diseased fetus. Because there will always be ways to get around your little laws. Like, for example, drawings of underage are still going around. All you got to do is, you know, make them look less human. Or, you know, say it's a lolly, I guess. Which, if you don't know what lolly means, it means someone who looks younger but is actually like a thousand years old. Which makes no fucking sense! I seriously can't believe people got away with this just by calling it a lolly. Like... What the fuck, dude? So yeah, there's gonna be those loopholes that people are going to use. So, good job for, you know, Twitter trying to do something. But, you see, the problem with Twitter is, I think they're too far gone. With censoring accounts because Twitter doesn't agree with them, or allowing hate mobs to form, and waiting too long on their actions to get rid of pedophiles, there are so many ways these guys protect themselves from getting, you know, taken off of Twitter, they usually change their names, and trying to act like they're part of the LGBT, and there's always going to be those who linger, so I think Twitter needs to do either a full wipe, or just really hammer down on these policies, because otherwise, me and many others will still see Twitter as the toxic platform that accepts everyone's fetish, and if you don't agree, you'll get mugged by the massive mobs Twitter creates on people for having different opinions than anybody else. This has been Radfax. Like and strive for more content, and always, stay rad. HANDS! GET LUGA!